It's the second day of Chinese President Xi Jinping's state visit to Moscow Tuesday. He and President Putin could sign a number of bilateral agreements today. The demise of banking giant Credit Suisse sent shockwaves through financial markets and appears to have dealt a blow to Switzerland's reputation for stability. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense said late Monday that a strike destroyed Russian-caliber cruise missiles that were being transported by train in the town of Zankoy, in Russian-occupied Crimea. Mid-sized regional banks and community banks around the country are urging regulators to consider lifting the FDIC's threshold for uninsured deposits after they granted exceptions. A Fox News producer on Monday filed a pair of explosive lawsuits against the right-wing talk channel, alleging that the network's lawyers coerced her into providing misleading testimony in Dominion Voting System's $1.6 billion defamation case against the comp. Former U.S. President Donald Trump tells supporters he'll be arrested, Voice of America.